the WGU Healthcare Management Bachelor's Degree. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can get this degree from WGU, which is Western Governors University, in as little as six months. And this video is probably going to save you like 10 to 20 hours of research, and it might even end up saving you years of your time and tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm gonna actually reveal to you the step-by-step -step process that I have used with my private consulting clients to save them years of time and tens of thousands of dollars. And I'm even going to reveal a cheat sheet that is gonna make this entire process insanely easy. And this is something that I haven't revealed until recently when I got a bunch of questions asking me to do this for each individual degree at WGU. So I created this series to make the whole process insanely easy. Now, one thing I will say is WGU is a great school, but they are not the only school that does this accelerated process. There are other schools that are either competency-based universities like WGU, or they allow you to accelerate through the degree in different ways. So I highly recommend you check out my video on whether WGU is worth it, and I'll put that right here. But if you appreciate me giving you all this insane amount of value completely free, this entire project took a ton of time, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's get into it right now. All right, so step number one is you're gonna wanna go ahead and transfer in all of your existing classes and existing experience. Now, this seems like a pretty obvious step, but a lot of people actually mess up a little bit here because WGU accepts a lot more than you might think. So for instance, they will sometimes accept military experience and work experience as credit. They also accept lots of different outside sources such as CLEP exams. If you've taken AP classes during high school or IB classes, they'll accept that. And of course, if you've taken college classes and you've gotten college credit, they will oftentimes accept that as well. So make sure you take your time on this step and look at everything that you've done and then send all of that into WGU. And then once they have looked at it, they're gonna go ahead and send you a list of classes that you still have to take back. So there's lots of different reviews of people who are able to transfer in a ton of different classes online, like this person who was able to transfer in uh, 28 credits. Um, and it says, yes, all my transfer credits were prereq classes, English, math, history, sociology, et cetera. Now, by the way, you will not be enrolling in WGU until step number four. The counselor at WGU may try to get you to enroll, and I recommend personally not enrolling yet because this whole process is gonna save you a ton of time, effort, and money, right? It's going to make it easier, cheaper, and faster. And the best way to do this is to not enroll until you absolutely have to at the very end in step four. So once you've gotten those list of classes back after you've transferred in your credits, you're gonna go ahead and move on to step Step number two, which is you are going to take many of the remaining classes at third party companies. Right, so I call this the test out phase, and you're basically going to be testing out of a bunch of different classes that you can transfer in to WGU using third party companies. And these third party companies are study.com, sophia.org, and straighterline.com. And I actually like them in that order. So typically I like study.com the most, then sophia.org, then straighterline. And the reason you're gonna be using these third party companies is because of the fact that very simply speaking, they are faster, easier and cheaper than if you took the same classes at WGU. So there are 40 total classes that you have to take in order to get this degree. And many of these classes, if you use these third party companies, you can very easily test out of one per week. And that's even if you have a full-time job, a family, and you're super busy. If you're not super busy, then you can even test out of a lot of these classes one per day, or in some cases, even two per day. Now, some people get very fancy with this process. They'll like take three classes at you know study.com and four classes at sophia.org and another three classes um, at straighter line. And you can definitely do that. There's a lot of like strategies online, but to be honest, like a lot of those strategies change. Something that worked like three years ago doesn't necessarily work now. So I just like to keep it simple and take all the classes you can at study.com. Since in my experience, it's the one that's the most reliable. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's a really good user interface. You actually learn things when you take classes there. And it's also very easy to transfer in at the end of the day. My students have had the least amount of issues with study.com and the same thing has been reported uh, from other people who teach this sort of thing such as Josh. So you use study.com, you take the class, you take the exam, you test out of it, you transfer it into WGU and boom, you are done with that class. And by the way, I will make this entire process super easy if you wait until the end of the video where I go through this step by step. But if you don't wanna wait until then, I do have a cheat sheet, which makes the whole process super easy. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. So once you've taken as many classes as you can at study.com and sophia.org, you've transferred those in, you're gonna move on to the next step, 
which is step three, and that is you're going to pre-study the remaining classes. So you're going to have some classes that are left that you cannot transfer in, and you have to take them at WGU. But before you enroll in WGU, you can go ahead and pre-study those classes. And I highly recommend that you do this because remember, the overall goal is for you to actually be enrolled in WGU for the shortest amount of time possible. And the reason for that is because WGU makes you pay per term. They make you pay somewhere around $3,500 per term, and each term is six months. And so if you can knock the entire degree out in one to two terms, that is ideal. And so you want to go ahead and pre-study these classes so you can get through them as fast as possible when you actually enroll at WGU. So there are two really good sources that are going to help you out a lot when it comes to pre-studying these classes. The first one is the WGU subreddit. Now, there is a main subreddit and people do share a lot of tips and tricks on there, but typically there's also going to be a subreddit specific to your degree. So make sure you look for that and find it. And on that subreddit, a lot of the time people will share tips and tricks on how to study for and pass these classes as fast as possible. The second resource, which is really good, is going to be the WGU Facebook groups. And it's very similar to the subreddits. People tend to share tips and tricks and their experiences on there on how to test out of these classes super fast. And again, this stuff does change. Stuff that might've worked three years ago doesn't necessarily work now. So it's good to talk to people and stay up to date on it. There's also a ton of really good resources online. Of course, you can look at WGU's curriculum to see what it's gonna be all about. You you can look up stuff on YouTube. A lot of the time there'll be good resources on there. Of course, there's Khan Academy that can be great for a lot of different classes. If you want to pay a little bit of money, sometimes Udemy will have some great classes that will cover the material really well. And of course, if you're a textbook type of person, you can always just look up a textbook online or order one that's just a few years old for like 20 bucks. Then once you feel really confident about the remaining classes, what you want to do is move on to step four, which is you are finally going to enroll in WGU and knock those classes out as fast as you possibly can. So this is where you would reach out to your enrollment counselor and finally say, hey, I'm ready to enroll. And then you would get enrolled as fast as you can and start knocking those classes classes out. Now, a typical bachelor's degree in the United States of America takes about 5.1 years on average. At Western Governors University, there is countless testimonials online of people finishing degrees in less than a year, less than two years, etc. And of course, it's going to depend on your situation. If you are a very busy person, you have a full-time job, you got a family, etc., it's probably going to take you a little bit longer. If you're not in a situation like that, you can oftentimes test out of them even quicker. So an extreme example of this is my good friend, Josh Matikor. Uh, we actually helped to create these spreadsheets together. And he was able to complete a computer science degree in two months at WGU. And the computer science degree is probably the most difficult degree that the school offers. So if he can complete it in two months, literally, he was only enrolled in WGU for two months, I think you can see why you know this strategy works so well. Now, realistically, if you're an extremely busy person, you can still complete it in two years or less. If you're less busy, if you have more free time and in many cases, you can do the entire process in a year or less and sometimes as little as six months. Now, when you're knocking these classes out, especially for the more difficult ones like healthcare research and statistics, as well as business simulation, make sure you leverage the professors there. A lot of the time people don't really talk to the professors that much and they can be extremely helpful. They can tell you exactly what you need to do to study. And then of course, make sure you check the WGU subreddit and the Facebook groups as well. So to summarize the overall strategy here, first step is you're gonna transfer in your existing credits if you have them. Second step is you're gonna pregame courses using study.com, straighterline.com, and sophia.org. Third step is you're going to pre-study the remaining courses. And the fourth step is you are going to complete the remaining classes as fast as you can. So here is a testimonial from somebody who said that they finished the last 34 credits of the degree in a single term, right? So they were able to knock out 34 credits in one term and they were able to complete the entire degree in five terms, even though they had a bunch of personal issues. So that's about two and a half years they were able to complete the entire degree. That's pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the cheat sheet and I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step how you would do this entire process. So I'm basically gonna give you an example of what the entire process would look like. All right. So this is the cheat sheet for the business administration and healthcare management degree at WGU. And I'll just go over it really quickly. And by the way, if you want to basically do this same exact process, uh, but you're on, you can just go ahead and do file and make a copy. The only problem with doing that is if I update this sheet in the future, you will not see the updates on the copy. So you'll have to check the original sheet. But with that being said, uh, on the left side here, you see the ID 
and these are the IDs for the classes at WGU. Then you see the course name right here uh, in this column. And again, these are the course names at WGU. Then you see the amount of units, and then you're gonna see the study.com transfers. So English 104, for instance, would transfer in for English composition one. So we just made this whole thing super easy. You don't have to look it up. Um, it's just all mapped out. And if you click right here, it will take you to the WGU.com uh, website. If you click right here, it will take you to the exact study.com course. And by the way, if you want to save 30% off on your first three months using study.com, you can use the code Shane Hummus. They were nice enough to give me a discount code. And if you use that code, it will help the channel out a little bit. So I would appreciate that. So we're gonna go through every single step, uh, step by step. So step one, of course, is for you to transfer in existing classes. So I made just a very simple example here, but let's say that you took AP Biology and AP Economics during high school. So you're able to transfer those in. And then you also took uh, communications, math, uh, art, and sociology in your uh, one semester of community college, let's say. Like you went to community college for one semester, you decided it wasn't for you, but you were able to complete those classes so you went ahead and transferred all of those in and of course you know the line going across is you know that symbolizes that you were able to transfer that class in and you don't have to worry about it anymore so then you would move on to phase two which is you would test out of the other classes that you can take at study.com so as you can see a significant amount of the classes you can actually test out of using study.com over half of them and so you would go ahead and do that and you'd test out of those classes. And again, the reason why you do that is quite simply because it's faster, easier, and cheaper to do it at study.com than it is to do it at WGU. At this point, um, you would have a certain amount of classes left. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 classes left total. And you would wanna go ahead and pre-study the remaining classes. You would use the resources that I talked about earlier in the video to do that. And once you feel confident about that, you'd go ahead and enroll in WGU and you would knock out all of these classes as fast as you possibly can. And your goal here is to try to knock them out in one to two terms. And so as you can see, uh, if you do the entire process, it could take you as little as less than a year and as little as less than six months actually enrolled in WGU. So that's pretty awesome. And then, of course, you'd move on to step five, which is you would brag about it to all of your friends and family uh, that you were able to you know, get a bachelor's degree in one year. And if you're really nice, you'd move on to step six, which is share this video with your friends and family so that they can benefit as well. Now, one thing I just wanted to reiterate here is WGU is a phenomenal school. It's a great option for a ton of people that reach out to me, but it is not for everybody. So for instance, it is completely remote and some people have a lot of trouble focusing uh, when they're doing their work completely remote. So that is kind of a downside of WGU. Uh, another thing about WGU is networking isn't necessarily going to be as easy because you're not spending time directly with other students uh, and other people. So you kind of have to put yourself out there a little bit more if you want to network. So I did go over all the pros and cons of going to WGU in this video right here, and I highly recommend that you check that out.